Hi guys, welcome to Motivational Monday. Today we're going to be talking about embracing your greatness. I think this is a really important topic because so many times I see people discrediting themselves, um, not really owning their greatness, and I know I'm guilty of it too, and I know sometimes people give me a compliment and I kind of just like, I'm like, oh, I'll say thank you and be appreciative, but how often am I actually embracing the good things that I'm doing, embracing the person that I am and the person that I'm becoming and truly owning every ounce of my greatness, and so... I wanted to talk about it today, and I hope this helps somebody open up and learn to embrace their greatness a little bit more. But of course, I don't want to just talk about what, I want to talk about how. So the very first step is understanding your greatness. It's very important to understand what it, what your strengths are and what your weaknesses are. So your strengths are some of the things that come so naturally that you may not even recognize it as a strength. For example, I've always been naturally organized and it wasn't until recently that I realized like that's just not a normal thing. However, it's a strength because it's an important skill set to have. And so I'm learning how to communicate those organization skills to be able to teach it and help others be more organized. But it wasn't until I understood that that was a part of my greatness that I could actually work towards helping other people be great in theirs as well. Along those lines, you also have to understand what your weaknesses are. I can't sing. I really enjoy singing. But I can't sing. <laughs> but I absolutely enjoy singing. With that being said, I have to know where my boundaries are and I have to know where my limits are because no one likes to be embarrassed. And what's worse than embarrassing yourself? (laughs) With that being said, I want you guys to take the time to understand what your greatness is. And sometimes that will require some intense alone time. Shut off the phone, shut off social media, turn off the TV, Isolate yourself if that's what it takes, but you have to be able to hear your voice, reflect on your life, and truly understand what makes you great. After you understand your greatness, then you have to learn to sharpen your skill set. And one of the most important things is understanding that iron sharpens iron. So the people you're around you should be pushing you and motivating you, and encouraging you to be better in your area. Whatever it is that you're doing, whatever your zone is, whatever your purpose is, they should be pushing you to take it to the next level, and the next level, and the level after that. So if the people around you don't require you to kind of elevate and always be looking to improve, you really have to evaluate whether those are the people that belong in your circle. If they're not willing to sharpen your iron, they don't have your back. Like, they just don't. And it's not always about being critical, and it's not always about pointing out the bad or areas of improvement. Sometimes a part of sharpening your iron looks like encouragement. It looks like reminding you that you're great. Sometimes the one thing that you need to hear is you're doing great. Sometimes you need to hear you're growing. You're doing an amazing job at X, Y, and Z. It's not always about the constructive criticism because if all you have to give is constructive criticism, it stops being constructive after a while. It becomes oh, you're always negative, so I'm just going to tune you out. Every once in a while, you have to have something positive to say. Like, there has to be something that's going right. You can't find nothing to talk about. Okay. Um, And then also part of sharpening your skills is making sure that you do the work and make the sacrifices that are necessary. You have to be willing to say, I am committed to this thing. I am eagerly working towards improving and I want to be the best 
version of myself. So, and, and that will require like looking at yourself and saying, what did I do that could have been better? What did I do that I could have avoided this pitfall or what have you? But you have to be honest with yourself and you have to be committed to doing the work. And sometimes it's going to require sacrificing sleep. You might have to miss some of the fun stuff. You might have to distance yourself from friends or family for a little bit. Whatever it's going to take to make that dream reality and truly embrace your greatness, you just got to be willing to do it. Then the final step in embracing your greatness is shine, baby, shine. You have to shine. Own it own it. It's yours. Everyone has a different set of greatness. Your greatness doesn't take away from my greatness. My greatness doesn't take away from the next person's greatness. You have to own it at every opportunity possible and truly embrace the fact that this is what I'm good at. These are my strengths. This is my purpose. And this is why I was sent here to to touch this world. Like, what is your greatness? What is it that allows you to have purpose in this world. And I need you guys to understand that one person's shine does not dim the shine of another person. We all can shine in whatever realm. And even if those worlds are similar, we still have different passions and purposes and interests and likes and dislikes. We're all different people. So we all have the ability to own our greatness without taking away anything from anybody else. You don't have to discredit somebody else's greatness to highlight yours. Because if you do, it's probably not your greatness. It's probably not your purpose. And you're probably not great at it. I know that's really harsh to say, but it's the truth. Because at the end of the day, the things that you were created to do You don't have to promote. You just don't. People will see it. People will draw to it. People will naturally attract to your greatness without you having to say, look at me. I'm great. Look at me. I'm, I'm great. Oh, don't you see my greatness? Like, that's just not how it works. It is just not. Just go out there, own whatever your greatness is, which again, if you don't know what that is, You really need to take that alone time to evaluate what it is. And I want to see, and I want to hear in the comments, what is your greatness? Comment below, what is the one or more things that you're absolutely great at and you're willing to embrace moving forward? For me, one of the things that I feel that I'm great at is encouraging others. And I'm going to embrace that and run with that and be committed to doing that on a consistent basis. Um, Not that I haven't been in the past, but I'm going to own it a little bit more because I do tend to take for granted some of the skill sets that I have. And I want to do better about owning owning my greatness. So what is your greatness? I want to hear it. I want to celebrate your greatness in the comments below. Thanks, guys.